Uh, I want to join in thanking Senator Graham, uh, but really I want to thank all of my colleagues who came here today and I think I have never seen any group of colleagues so moved by what we saw and heard. I've never seen a group of United States senators so inspired and passionate about any cause. And today it is the cause of Israel defending itself, not in a war against Palestinians, but against a terrorist organization, let's call it what it is, seeking genocide. It is genocide. Hamas doesn't just hate the Jewish people, like me. It wants to kill us. Period. Every one of us. The world cannot tolerate that kind of genocide anymore. My dad came to the United States of America to escape Germany. He had not much more than the shirt on his back. He spoke no English. He knew virtually no one. He brought over, eventually, his three siblings. And his sister came to Israel, where she married and had a family. Today, one of my cousins is on the front in the IDF. When I met with those hostages, I saw in every one of them my family. They are Americans in their dedication to freedom and the values of America and in their grief and fear, they can unite America. There's no question that in the days ahead, the bonds between Israel and America will be tested again as they have been in the past. They've proved unshakable and unwavering in the past and they will be again uh, in the future. To Iran, I want to say again, if you're thinking about giving the green light to Hezbollah as you did to Hamas, don't. If you're thinking about giving the green light to the captors of those hostages to slaughter them, don't. If you're thinking about taking advantage in any way of the vulnerability of Israel as it struggles for its existence, don't. Israel has no place to go. As Golda Meir once said, Israel has a secret weapon. It has no place else to go. And today, Israel is in the fight of its life. And I am deeply grateful for the President's leadership in his commitment to give Israel whatever it takes to win, and it must win, not against the Palestinians. It is a war against Hamas. I just want to say that I grieve with all who have suffered losses, not just Israelis, but Palestinians. They are victims of Hamas as well. And they deserve the kind of humanitarian aid that is now flowing, but has to go in greater amount. They deserve a place to evacuate so they can get out of harm's way. They deserve the truth so that they understand that if they are in harm's way, they may become victims. And finally, let me just say that this time will be deeply painful for all of us who care about human life. Hamas does not. And it will take the kind of courage and strength that we saw today to move forward toward a different Gaza and a different region with a real future. Normalization and reconciliation are alive and well. That is a message that has come across to me at least 
that normalization is still a positive and achievable hope. And it is, in a sense, the best hope for the Palestinians, as well as for the nations, Saudi Arabia, Israel, and other of this region. Uh, thank you again to Senator Graham for bringing us today. Thank you.